So today we're going to do a Jurassic World inspired look and we're going to turn our gorgeous model Colleen into a lizard princess. So. So first, I'm going to take some of my nose and scar wax. So we're just going to take some of this. I've never used it before, so I'm going to pretend like I know what to do. Put it right at the bridge of her nose. Very so blinky. And we're going to bring the outsides of her nose. <laughs> She's so blinky. <laughs> <laughs> Down here on her face, just because we can, mainly. And don't stick it up her nose, because <laughs> then it's a booger. I'm going to put a good dollop in the middle of her forehead. Going up. Yeah. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to apply some base. And you really want to pick a shade that's going to stand out against your skin. So if you can find one that's a different nationality than you, that's perfect. You really want to start at the hairline so that it doesn't blend into the hairline at all. So this is where we're at now. Right. Now we're going to bring in some red highlights, some powder rouge, to give her a little bit of depth to her face. She is a wizard princess after all. So we're going to do a little bit right here. Yeah, that looks good. Move it on the other side. Bring it up around the eye. Asymmetry is really your friend here, so we're going to bring it down on the other side. And bring it around the mouth, kind of in the mandible area. Now we're going to get some of our yellow going on. Now we take our yellow and hit the scales made earlier. Okay, good. Now we're just going to take some greens and we're going to start blending them in all over. So this is just your base. Now you just want to add a lot of green to it. I use sparkle green because it's a princess. You can use a flat green if you want. It's really all up to you though. Alright, so now as you can see, I added the green to it, and I gave her some defining lines throughout her face. We're going to start blending that in now, just a little bit. I'm going to blend out from the scales, really blend it up into the nasal area, and in this mandible section, try and blend it into the jawline. Alright, so now we've got our basic shaping done, and I'm going to start working on her eyes. We're going to start with a very dark brown eyeliner, and we're just going to get a super thick line, and we're going to wingtip it out past her eyebrows to where that follows through. Make sure these connect. If they don't, you lose the entire effect. The bridge is a sharp point. And around. And back up to that. Okay, so I finished the wing tip on the other side and I started applying some scales to her. And just extending that. You really want this crooked line in here. And let's go back forth and then go back down. And this is almost like a weird French mustache coming out from the sides of her lips. Same thing on the nose. Just keep this area open. We'll be darkening that in later. Okay, so now we have all the scales drawn on. And we have the nose more defined. Just use the same black pencil to do that. And left it a little bit uneven on the nose tip so that we can go back in with our other color. Now I'm going to take a nice pale purple and I'm just going to hit 
each one of those scales individually just to give it a little bit of roundness feel to it. Hitting only just the very bottom curve of the scale. So there it is with the purple highlighting. Now we're going to go back and with some light, almost white, we're going to give her a couple accents. Alright, so I'm just going to give a little bit of highlighting to the lip area here. And then right here, coming down from that scar, keep it pretty splotchy. You don't want it to actually be covering very well. Just enough to give it glisten. And then over on this side, same thing. Just give it glisten. Alright, and now for the final touch. There we go. Because what is Jurassic Park without a little bit of blood? There's our finished product. You look really pretty, Colleen. <laughs> Ideally, you'd also have some lizard-esque contacts. But that's alright, because she is half-human. At least. We don't know yet. No DNA test has been done on Colleen to prove that she is less than half human. However, speculations have been made. So here is our fearsome warrior princess lizard esque creature. Yes. Inspired by Jurassic World and also my corrupted imagination. Also today I made some sourdough rolls from scratch. Are you rolling? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm.